Hi right, guys, today I take action to move away from the Sicilian, learn some Karakan theory by studying this course by Grandmaster Erwin Laami, and it's a free course, so I think I think he'd be okay with me covering this on the channel. Um, I've messaged him on Instagram, so hopefully he gets back to me. He just says, yeah, it's okay. I think it's, it's free advertising for his paid for courses. So, yeah, but this course is free. I recommend you go check out. I'll leave, a, I'll leave it in the comments as well. I'm going to try and talk through this first line in the Kara. And, you know, I'm just learning the Kara, guys. So let me know in the comments um, if my thinking is wrong at any point. But I think the idea, this is like the most simple. I think it starts with the simple lines first. It's just very solid little system here, getting the triangle. And then we're, it's all about putting pressure here. Now, if we take... It just becomes sort of a normal game of chess, I think. But to really try and push for an advantage, I think queen here is best because they've just slid their bishop away from the defense of this uh, b2 square. So we target that. Now, let me know in the comments, guys, why is queen takes here bad? Because it does hit the knight. I know these he's getting some very tactical lines. But now we just add further pressure on the center on this pawn here with the knight. And now they hit the queen. So the line here is check. Sort of hitting the knight. They defend both threats uh, by pushing the pawn to block and also revealing the queen's defense here. And then we want to slide back and at some point defend against this because this can win the bishop. We don't want to give away the bishop. And sometimes we create a cubby hole. Uh, but first we do close off there. Now that when they hit the queen, straight back to cover this. So if they go here and win the bishop, you know, if we slide back, maybe they take, we get, we could argue that we've got an open rook, but I think we'd rather keep that bishop on the board. So we've blocked that. Um, and now there's a few threats. So they're threatening to centralize their knight on this square. So we want to play this, but I don't think that comes next. I think there's a move before that, which was, this again they get that so we create a cubby hole for the bishop then we can then we can think about playing that then i think the next priority is to sort of stop this stop this knight coming in but also there is a move in this position where we slide back in order to get the, the knight out i think we've got, i think this is priority that's an alternative slide back and we're thinking about coming to this square, maybe. Um, I think now we play this, stop the knight centralizing. And then when they go here, we target that and we just take the trade. And then we form a clamp on the position. So they're threatening this pawn break. Uh, and if it takes away from the center, they sort of shatter into my position. So we create a blockade here with this move. So rook lined up here, not actually threatening much. Maybe after this, there's a bit of pressure here. Um, but now I think we want to bring the king into the center because we've pushed on both sides, but it's a fairly closed position. So I think centralizing the king is fairly safe here. Um, is that what we do next? I'm just thinking move order wise. I think it is. It is. All right. So that is the Karakan advance with knight c3 and knight c6 and a4. So I'm, this is going to be a new series on the channel, me going through. The, I think there's 20 lines to learn in this. It's called a short and sweet Karakan course. But I think it's just going to give me a good, a good understanding. Maybe I could go off and do more theory after this. But at my level, I think this is probably a decent amount of theory to learn. Like... Yeah, so like and subscribe if you want to join me on my journey learning the Karakan. And uh, yeah, cheers, see you next time.